All I was trying to say is she's not literally heartless, Brian. She's not literally heartless. Because if she were, if she literally had no heart, she would literally not be alive. That's all I'm saying. Which is actually, that actually makes sense. Well, finally, something makes sense. Because like, what if that's how you all feel about her? Like she's not a real actual person with real actual needs. She's just mom. Mommy, fix my boo-boo. Mommy, make it better. Mom, you missed my baseball game. Mom, 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 mom. It does involve me because I am standing here. I have found myself here with all of you assholes and I have been here for over a week and I can't even sleep and I am so not doing this. I am not doing this because like first I was babe and now I'm gonna be mom. I'm like, you're not even taking that in and I am so not waiting 50 more years only to find myself, only to find myself in this kind of a shit situation. Well, I guess it'll be 43 because we've been together for seven, so. She is gonna do whatever she wants. You're not in charge of her life. She's not one of your stupid kids and one of your stupid plays. No, Nancy, I got this. She has articulated something she wants for maybe the first time in her entire life. And it's something that doesn't make the rest of you comfortable. And you are going to suck it up and listen to her. Listen to her and let her lead the way. Why don't both of you grow the fuck up and have a little compassion or at least understanding for the fact that this is a woman who has worked her ass off in order to satisfy your every need and who has never ever in her whole entire life asked you for anything. What about her getting her own needs met? What about her needs?